Hello Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Today we're going to be looking at 12 stocks that have made new highs, 52 week highs as a matter of fact. And how we find those stocks is by going to our smart scan. We have a whole lesson on smart scan, how you can filter out various stocks. We've looked at 12 stocks. We put our filters in. We want to see stocks that are trading over $20 that have volume of at least 2 million shares a day and are traded on the U.S. exchanges. Now, if you live in Canada or Australia, you can, of course, search for those, that criteria in your homeland. First, let's look at the rules. Okay, let's look at the 52-week new highs on a Friday rule. What does it mean? Well, the good thing is there's only three rules that you need to trade. And remember, rule number one, on a new 52-week high, when the market closes at or close to its highs on a Friday, buy and go home long for the weekend. Now, you want it to close pretty close to the highs of the day, not necessarily on the exact high, but close to the highs. Rule number two, exit this long position on the opening the following Tuesday. So you're going to buy it on a Friday, sell it on a Tuesday. Very short term. Rule number three, if the market opens sharply lower on Monday, exit the position immediately, take the loss, and move on. There you have it. These are the only three rules you need to trade the 52-week new highs on a Friday rule successfully. The rule applies also to futures and Forex, and you can reverse the rule. If it's at 52-week lows, you can actually short the market if you feel comfortable doing that. Simple approach and very effective. Let's start off with the first stock. It's Goog, and that's Google. That's their new alphabet. This is their new sort of company, but it's really Google. But you can see all of the trade triangles on all of these stocks are a all green and that's not unusual if it's a 52 week high everything should be green so let's look at the first one and see what we think of that one this looks really good to us because the reality is here we are we've made a new high at seven hundred and fifty five dollars and seventy cents it's just trading a little bit off that so this is the type of market you want to trade and go home long on the weekend because the reality is it's got to close at or close to its high so if it closed here I would say this would be a very good candidate to go home long with our 52-week high on a Friday, 52-week rule. And you can see the rules on the blog posting. So great close if it closes here. But it's still early in the day, and a lot can happen. So just watch this stock in particular. Next stock is Plum Creek Timber. This is not quite so exciting to me because you've had a You've, had a, you've broken out from a nice base. The monthly came in some time ago at around $41.99. And we've had a nice move, but it's just, you see, it's kind of like not really making new highs, not doing this. And also the volume's dropped off dramatically as we've gotten higher. So I wouldn't say this is the best candidate for a weekly trade, weekend trade. Home Depot, yeah, I like the way this is looking. See how it's close to its highs. The high today was 28.57, 128.57 is 28.45, 48. So it looks really good. I think this would be another good candidate along with Goog. Visa, not so sure about this one. It's a little bit twisted, but if it did close towards the highs of the day, the high was 81. So if it closed to 81 or higher, I would say this would be a nice trade to go home long. It looks like a nice solid company with Visa. This is Goodyear. Not excited about this one because look, you made new highs, but it's it's come right off those highs, but if it goes back up towards the end of the day, and this is the key thing, if it closes at 34, over 34.27, I think it would be very, very good, or even towards the highs, I think that would be a good sign to go home along this. Now, it doesn't mean to say it can't go higher later, but we're looking for that pop on Monday and Tuesday. This is Paychex. This is right towards the highs of the day. The high is 54.48. It's currently trading at 54. 48, right on the highs. I would say this is one to watch because it's looking strong. A lot of people want to own this right now, particularly if it closes up towards these highs or even higher. I'm not opposed to buying something higher than it is right now, but I want to see it close at or close to its highs for the day. This is Aflac, the insurance company. You can see a nice close here. I like that. You've got a nice big base you sort of built around here. So I think this looks like a very, very solid choice uh, to go higher. This is Masco. Uh, you see the symbol M-A-S-C-O, Mass. And that's come off the highs. The highs today were 30.34. It's currently trading at 30.10. 
not a big move, but I'd like to see all of these close at or close to its highs. Plus, you've had like five days in a row it's gone higher. This is Denhauer, DHR, and that's looking good too. That should close towards the highs. The high today was 97.62 and 97.50, so just a few points off there. I would say if it closes out of those at this level or higher, it's a take home for the weekend. This is Adobe. No, I don't like this one. You see how it's we started out higher and we've come down or down in the day. We'd have to make new highs for me to get excited about this. The high today was 92.50, so we're about maybe 50 cents away. We'd have to go up and make new highs for me to get excited about this position. This is Salesforce.com. You can see this is choppy. I do not like this one at all. I don't like the action, the type of action we're seeing here. I think it can go higher later, but I don't like it just for the weekend trade. Now our last stock is pretty much the same picture. You notice the picture on Salesforce and this one, very similar. I would just take a pass on these last two stocks. So, so let's just go back and recap what we have. We liked Alphabet, which is Goog. This really closing towards the highs of the day. I think we liked Home Depot also and Visa. So again, if they're closing at or close to the highs of the day for the weekend, it's definitely a buy and then exit on Tuesday on the opening. So that's our look at 12 stocks making new 52-week highs. I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll be back on Monday. Thanks for watching.